Virgo. What is the goddamn word, y'all? Listen, they done blocked y'all video worldwide. I done had to get them to take the music out of y'all original video because y'all know we had a little jam session in there. So this is going to be a quick upload. And if y'all want to book readings and everything, the information is in the about tab. I'm not even going into the whole intro. Thank you guys so much for clicking this video. This is Scorpio vs. Tarot. Let's get into the tea, all right? Let's get into it. Let's do the quick prayer, and we're going to get into it. Father God, thank you one more again for bringing us back for the remix. Father God, we are here for the remix. For my Virgos, Father God, thank you again for all of the messages that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Um, we're having to redo this video, Father God. Continue to move us in divine and light. And the only thing I can tell everyone watching is Virgo is well prote protected and will be respected. And that's one thing that people will understand. And they will have no choice but to understand. Um, so I don't know what energy is about to come out of here today. Father God, continue to give us guidance. Continue to ke keep a good structure of people around us to just keep us grounded father god um because you know like certain sometimes you know people need other people to stand up for them and have their back sometimes to just know that they're covered and just father god thank you for keeping us covered at all times and you know having people around us that is strong enough to fight our battles even when they know that you know we not strong enough to do it you know so father god give us guidance and um give us information and help lead us to our destiny for june 2019 thank you so much give us guidance for virgo virgo let's get into it y'all i hope that it's like it was so much that was missed because of the music that just got cut out on y'all video so let's just see. You know, hopefully it's a, it's an easier vibe because that vibe that was in y'all's last video, it was it wasn't a good one. It was a good one for Virgo, but it wasn't a good vibe for the people on the receiving end. Um, and of course, y'all know that the energy can be vice versa. So um, take it how it resonates, and if it doesn't, you know, maybe I'll catch your energy in the next video. Sanctuary. Take time out from the world. Spend time alone. Meditate or go on a retreat. Sanctuary. Yeah. Especially after everything that we went through yesterday. Um, I can see <laughs> after all of that chaos and the destruction and everything being dismantled by force. You know, by force. Your family wasn't having it. You know what I'm saying? Your family was not having it. And I, I I, know. It's not that I think I know that they did that. You see this blue? This is tranquility. This is peace. You know? This is harmony. This is truly abundance right here. You know? They fought for your peace. They fought for you to have a peaceful sanctuary for you to rest, for you to heal, for you to get some alone time and spend some time with yourself and meditate and kind of get yourself grounded all over again and realize how special and unique that you are, you know, and you don't have nobody hoover over you trying to control you, trying to tell you how to walk, talk, think, blink, shit, eat, like, no, stand, like, no, like, y'all family was not having that shit yesterday. Give me guidance for my Virgos. Give me guidance about this sanctuary. Give us guidance while we're in this sanctuary and it's a long time, Father God. Thank you so much. King of Pentacles, all right. Okay, two of Pentacles, King of Swords, the Tower in reverse, the Death in reverse. Okay. And then I just, what, what the fuck? Okay, here, we back at it again. Oh my God, we back at it again. Back at it. What in the fuck? Somebody just don't want to learn their lesson. It seems like here. And there's two men here. There's three men here. There's three men here. 
What in the fuck? Like this shit is is getting worse. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. So here we go. We got the Knight of I mean the King of Pentacles right here. We got someone that is studying, that is putting a lot of hard work in, that is focused on their foundation and their money. And I feel like this is Virgo paying attention to <laughs> their money. You know what I'm saying? Like paying attention to their foundation. Like I'm not worried about none of this shit no more. You know? Um I do, I feel like Virgo is focused in there working on their job. But you mean, this is just like, I feel like Virgo is throwing their, their, their intentions into their job. But it's like at the same time, I feel like they're working hard to keep themselves from juggling, them being indecisive. And, and, and trying to figure out if they should patch things up with this person from the past. This person from the past is still in their crawl. It's still in their crawl. It's like, I'm good, I'm abundant, and I'm a lot more focused. And it's easier for me when I'm alone, but I keep tossing this shit up in the fucking air about <sighs> this shit that is like, you just keep doing patchwork on this tower and God is tearing this tower down and you are just so confused and not able to just stand on your own wits on this situation. Like, something deep in your fucking crawl tells you to do not put your hands on trying to balance this and juggle this situation. Again, when people have literally fought for your freedom and for you to be able to sit here pretty and strong and you know, determined like that. And it's like, but yet still, like, someone, it's like, you're in the middle of being strong and working towards your future and your foundation and being confused and feeling dumbfounded and making stupid decisions. Because it's like, because you don't know how to think, you don't know you don't know how to communicate to people what's going on with you. You don't know how you're feeling. I feel like your feelings are being controlled and manipulated by other people. I don't even feel like you know who you are inside. One day you feel like a nut. One day you don't. Almond joys have nuts and mounds don't. You keep trying to put patchwork over this tower and you're not allowing the situation to end and just be done with. And it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And you're going to, again, one more time, even after I feel like these people, because if it has anything to do with what happened yesterday in the reading, if you go back to this person and try to juggle this shit one more time, after um, your family done jumped in there and try to save your ass and get you out of the situation and then you're going to try to you're going to be convinced to patch this shit up one more time listen you see listen do you see the family coming to the rescue you see the family coming <clears throat> you ain't ready for this shit to end you, 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 you're not done you're not done. Virgo is not done. They're not done being... They're not They're not finished with the abuse. They're not finished with the abuse. They're going right back to the abuse. If this is someone that's not being mentally, verbally, and physically abused, tell me what the fuck it is. The five of swords in reverse, that's like the physical attacks and shit and everything that you were experiencing before. It's going to get worse, especially like, nigga, you had your family just run up on me. Oh, this bitch really going to fuck you up now. And I mean, it is going to be a, a verbal cuss out. Like, I mean, this person is coming down on you hard, Slim. I mean, hard. It's like, man, you don't you don't got your family involved and all this shit. Like, why the fuck would you go back to this person after after that? Like, this person is going to like really beat your ass now. Like, I'm sorry. Like, no. Can we just talk? Can we just talk? You hear that shit playing in the background? Like, come on, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Give me guidance. It says take out. <laughs> take time out from the world. Spend more time alone. Meditate or go on a retreat. I feel like before you even consider putting your hands on this. Because I don't think that you've put your hands on this yet. You, you haven't touched it yet to, to figure out if you actually want to try to put the work in yet you're confused about it 
You're confused about it. Because deep in your heart, you know if you go back, this shit going to get worse. I'm praying to God that y'all are just confused about this shit. That y'all are working on... Y'all are working on y'all environment. Y'all y'all putting yourself and y'all head down, focused on y'all work. Because you're confused about everything else. I'm just hoping... Give me guidance. Conflict and de defeat in the reverse. Fertility in the reverse. Love beginning in the reverse. Walking past obstacles and challenges. Heartache and loss. All right, now. All right, so now that I'm seeing this, I am really do thinking that um, Virgo, this is more of them thinking. This is more of them thinking. This is them thinking. I'm hoping, I'm praying to God that this is thinking. Because you, you and other people have fought for you. So that you can save your money and focus on yourself. Don't you dare put your hands on this and try to balance no bullshit with something, with this idiot. It's going to turn you back confused again if you try to, if you try to avoid this ending. You're trying to avoid a situation that needs to come down because it's going to destroy you. This person is abusive. You're trying to hide the fact that you're being abused. I'm telling you, if you can lie and tell me that this person is not whooping your ass if you want to, and I feel like this is a man getting his ass whooped. You're dealing with an insecure, abusive ass female. And if you put your hands back on this and try to work on this shit again, you're going to be in a place where you don't know yourself again and you're going to be confused. The tower is going to come down anyway, but it's going to come down on both of y'all head. Because you should have let it go when it was gone. This time is going to get even more physical, even more treacherous, even more manipulative, even more dangerous. It's going to go to a point of no return. No return. And the verbal abuse... And the physical abuse is just it's going it's going to get it's going to get bad. And I feel like y'all know that. That's why y'all stay in, in y'all sanct in y'all sanction sanctuary. Y'all are over this. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm not letting this shit beat me no more. I'm over this conflict and feeling defeated by this person. This shit wasn't growing. And I feel like maybe y'all might have been trying for children or something, and it's like the bitch can't get pregnant or something like that. And I feel like God don't want you to have no fucking baby by this person. Like, this is not love. This is abuse. This is control. This is manipulation. This is not love. This is obstacles and challenges. This is not love. <laughs> not love. I feel like ever since that you've been in this situation with this person, this person controls your money. This person is controlling in every aspect. And now you finally have your money to yourself where you're free to do whatever the fuck you want to do. That heartache and that loss, it doesn't even feel like that anymore. Like you used to let that shit consume you. You don't let it consume you no more. You're in your sanctuary. And I feel like up here, this is someone in a sanctuary knowing that if I put my hands, if I touch this shit ever again it's going to be the worst fucking mistake of my life it's going to be the worst fucking mistake of my life and it is baby like it is give me guidance page of spears mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. give me guidance about that because he's looking over at vast lands there and because he's in this new world now like um hmm Ten of coins on reverse. Oh, you're moving. You guys are moving. Okay. So, like, you might have got um, a message about, like, you've been accepted in a new apartment or a new, like, um, what's a town home, like, home organization, whatever the fuck, like, uh, Four coins, yeah. I think you guys are letting go of an apartment. Like, you guys are moving. You guys are letting go of whatever apartment or whatever home you guys used to share. And it's like, you guys have been waiting for, like, confirmations to come in. Like, a confirmation email, an acceptance letter or something of some sort to let them know that um, you can, like, 
move out of your old home and just like kind of let all of that shit go like i feel like you guys moved into a new sanctuary six of spirits yeah you guys feel you guys are are like celebrating your triumph like it's like i feel like a winner like you know you got new home new attitude like you guys feel successful you guys feel happy and i feel like you guys are happy that y'all let go of that shit and that y'all were yeah because y'all didn't that was not a foundation that should have ever been worked on and not only that this bitch was cheating on you she was cheating and it wasn't true love it was not true love come on now give me more the higher fun you want something that's more on your level someone that wants the same level of commitment that you want the three of spears um yeah it's like i'm not you're not letting anyone come in the way of delaying your movements anymore you know it's like i'm not about to sit back and wait for my ships to come in so i can know it's okay to move like i gotta go you know like i gotta go i have my own discernment i know I know, you know what I'm saying? And they go that tower in reverse again. Like you were avoided. You were able to avoid a catastrophic collision. Like you were able to escape unscathed. And I feel like um, because you went on your morals, you went on your beliefs you went off a of spirit. You know, like, deep in your heart. And you believe deep in your heart that this person doesn't hold the same values that I do. This person doesn't want the same thing that I do. And I keep putting patchwork on this shit and delaying leaving from here. When I know that this is truly not for me. And, like, instead of me keep trying to patch this up patch this up patch this up let me hurry up and avoid this shit and just get the fuck on out of here because this foundation is already built up off a patch where this shit gonna come down eventually like and i feel like god kept giving you chance after chance after chance to kind of escape and you finally caught on you finally caught on the empress in reverse like there it is again about this person like I feel like you guys were trying for children and like this person is like sterile or something like this person can't have children and I feel like it's the reason why this person can't have children this person treated you like a child and this is an evil little fucking nasty little bitch like this girl could be like nasty like keep a like dirty house or some shit like that could have let their weight go and you know what I'm saying just might have might have let their self go you know don't necessarily look the same way that they look when you first met them and nine of cups and i feel like you you're emotionally fulfilled and you are like with my whole ass man um samuel goddamn you sitting right there in the citadel i feel like you learned a lot like everything that you learned about yourself everything that you learned you walked away from this situation looking at this empress like you're a nasty little fucking trifling ass little hoe and ass bitch. Like I was honorable. I was good. I always operated off of my core values in this situation. Like you're a little manipulative little nasty little bitch. So at the end of the day, I walk away here feeling fulfilled because I hold my head high knowing that I did right by you, like, regardless of what the fuck happened, like, I did right by you, sorry I had to call my sisters to come and whoop your ass, but, like, you need to stop fucking playing around, you know what I'm saying, like, no, you need to stop fucking playing around, Slam, you dead ass need to stop fucking playing around, I don't even think I showed y'all the cards, like I said, Paige Spears, someone, someone was waiting for messages about new developments, I feel like, um, Virgo has been really, really going. I heard Aries in my head. Like, I don't know. Maybe you guys have been dating an Aries or something like that. Um, but I feel like you guys are um, moving away. Probably moving away from an Aries, you know. That was the relationship that just, like, it was destroyed. It's just, like, what the what, what, what's the sense of holding on to the situation when I know it's 
not doing nothing but bringing me misfortune and pain when I can move forward and be successful and celebrate it somewhere else. Shit, I can celebrate myself. I don't, need, I don't gotta work on this shit with somebody, especially someone who's cheating on me. Go be with whoever the fuck you wanna be with. You don't love me. You don't love me, and I don't love you. I don't, I don't wanna be somewhere where I'm not wanted. I'm going to move. I'm going to find my own sanctuary, find my own place of peace. Again, sorry you had to get your ass whooped. But listen, let me try to tell you that that's how we get down. That's how that's that's how we get down. That's where we find my family not going to play with you. We good people. But we will still whoop your ass, though. Like, don't ever get us fucked up. You understand what I'm saying? Like, morally, you're fucked up. And even though, like, we're good people... We not just going to stand by and watch somebody disrespect and mistreat and abuse someone that we love. So you were judged morally. You're not going to come around here and abuse and misuse and like, no, God and everybody frowned upon that. And you had to get taken care of and motherfuckers got left behind. OK, got left right the fuck on behind. Because Virgo said, you know what, I, at the end of the day. I kept putting patchwork on it and shit like that. Let me get the fuck on out of here before this shit completely fall down on me. Because at the end of the day, I'm not about to sit here and keep waiting, 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 waiting for the perfect sign where I can get ready to go. Bitch, get up and go right now before this shit fall on top of your goddamn head. All right? I don't even think you're attracted to this motherfucker no more. You're not attracted to this person and you're more emotionally fulfilled. Studying. Like, like you, you you're, in, you're on your own. Studying, learning new things about yourself, studying a new environment. You ain't worried about this person at all. You have no desire to even, like, and, and I feel like you guys are grateful that these people, it says you need a big fucking hug. It's like, I feel like you guys are grateful that these people came in and kind of saved you from this situation because for some reason, it was like you have been waiting for a long time for a sign to move. And you just kept passionate and passionate about it. Your family was like, um, no. Diggle your song. Oh my God. Back at it again. Look, time to let go. Time to let go. Make the fucking, what? Oh, move the fuck on. Time to move the fuck on. Laugh. Where is your sense of humor? I feel like this is saying, like, it's time to let go and try to move on. Because in a few months, you want to look back at this shit and fucking laugh. Like, you and y'all family going to be like, man, <laughs> remember a couple of months we had to come up and ride up on a bitch? You be like, man, y'all bitches was crazy. Like, no, nah, man, no. Because that bitch was out there talking that dumb shit. And I had to tell her, like, no, just because my brother won't smack you, bitch, I smack hoes. <laughs> look. And your sister's telling you, you make better fucking choices. If you're pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. Make better choices. If you are pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. Make, ooh, and then they, they go that money. Make it rain. I told y'all, y'all getting that money. Y'all hear the song in the back? Oh, my God. Back at it again. Oh. I'm in the hood. They think I'm backtrapping again. Look, they think Virgo backtrapping again like that. You getting that cash. <laughs> you getting that motherfucking cash money. What just popped out here? It says, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For your heart is the gateway to the soul. If you could do anything. What would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For your heart is the gateway to the soul. What does like what does your heart truly desire in love? If you could do, you can have, if you can, if your relationship could be anything, what would it be? Ooh, twin flame. Ooh, your passion ignites. Ooh, that's what y'all want. Y'all want a true twin flame. Mmm. Y'all want a true soulmate. Deep soul connection with someone. What is this saying? Embrace. Through each other, you find missing pieces. Wow. 
I feel like you guys are calling in your true goddamn, your true soulmate, your true twin flame, your true divine masculine, your true divine feminine. It's right there on the table. You guys are in your sanctuary. You're in a place where you could like truly rebuild and just like, just be you. And, and figure out what it is that you're putting out to the universe so you can attract the right thing. You're, you're, listen, take time from the world. Spend more time alone. Meditate. Go on a retreat. I need you to get yourself all the way together because this twin flame, this soulmate is coming on in, baby. And you need to be prepared so that you can embrace this. You need to be prepared so you can embrace this, honey. You understand? So let's see what else we got going on in love for my for my Virgos. What's the word, yo? What's the word in love? This is the remix. This is the remix. What is going on? Tell my Virgos what Virgo got popping for love. This is the remix. Ooh, stay optimistic about your love life. Come on, call it in, baby. Call it in. Trust. Listen, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Stay optimistic and trust and continue to call in that twin flame. What is it saying? Ooh, soulmates. I t Listen, come on now. Ooh, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning into your life. Ooh, who is this that you calling in? I feel, oh, let me see. Free yourself. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. I feel like it's saying stay optimistic about your love life and trust. Your true soulmate is coming to you. This reconciliation, this reconciliation that you want and that you've been thinking about, I feel like it's saying that you need to free yourself from that. You need to free yourself from, from, from wanting to reconcile with people and focus on your sanctuary. Retreat. Yeah, it's telling you to retreat. Yeah. Don't reconcile with this person. Don't go back to this person. Because I, I told y'all I was saying up there, like, I don't know if you were thinking about going back to this person or not. Or if you did go back to this person, but it's going to end up. I want to say deadly. Like, this person that you're dealing with is a fucking psychopath. Like, listen, stay optimistic about your love life and trust that things are going to be okay moving forward. Like, why put yourself and why put your family and the people that love you and want to see the best for you through that? Focus on a true soulmate, not on reconciliation. And y'all know I can't say that word. Am I saying it right? Reconciliation, reconciliation, whatever. Focus on trust that the true soulmate is coming to you. Don't focus on this reconciliation because God is wanting you to free yourself from the thoughts of that and truly retreat and give yourself chance and space and open environment and an open playing fields for you to stay optimistic about something new and so this twin flame this true soulmate can come to you so that you can embrace it you can't embrace it if you're still twiddling back and forth in your mind about you know getting back together with someone that you know damn well ain't good for you so let's find out what's going on with Virgo, what does Virgo have to say about this person that they've been dealing with? If they can say anything to this person, what would they say? I know it may be too late by the time I figure things out. I know it may be too late by the time I figure things out. Hmm. I just got sidetracked. You've affected my life significantly. My family and upbringing are bigger factors than I realized. Even though I don't show it, I'm sorry for how things went between us. So I feel like Virgo and I told you. Virgo is. I feel like they got sidetracked by this relationship and. By the time they finally came to the point of figuring this out on what they needed to do, it would have been too late. I feel like that's why their loved ones jumped in the middle of this. Um, 
this relationship has significantly affected Virgo's life and their family and their upbringing are bigger factors than they realize because like I said their family was not just going to sit there and allow anything to just happen and I don't know if it said it yesterday in the in the reading but in the reading yesterday like the person in their family was talking to Virgo and it's like bro like you are acting so confused and it's just like they didn't even recognize their family no more. It's just like, hello, like, are you there? Hello, is this you? Like, this is not the brother that I know. It was just like you always had your head down. You just always seem unsure of yourself, insecure. Like, the, it's like your family members, especially the females, could tell that it was someone that was always being yelled at and dealing with some type of controlling verbal and mental abuse and like they their family was way their family and their upbringing were way bigger factors than they realized because um yeah they they weren't raised they wasn't their family protect and look out for each other their family wasn't raised and and i feel like whoever this is it's like a dude that got like a lot of sisters and like i don't know if he's like the the baby you know what I'm saying? If he's the baby and he got like a whole bunch of older sisters or it's just a, like a lot of females in his family. But his family and his upbringing was bigger factors, you know, and I and the women in his family already don't like. Like he is the prize jewel. He is the boy of the family. So like they don't like just any type of bitches around they, they brother or they nephew or whoever the fuck this is anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like. And you coming around with control of abusive ass shit and you keeping my brother away from us and he's coming around acting strange and shit like no. Mm -mm. And I feel like Virgo, ooh, this person says, dealing with Virgo, they said I can still feel you. It says it's impossible to forgive and forget. Is it possible to forgive and forget? They say I can still feel you. Is it possible to forgive and forget? And I told you that... that that Virgo is going back and forth in their head about if they should entertain this shit anymore. What is it saying? My heart is telling me to just do it. And what else flipped out here? Because something else flipped over. Did something flip over? No, I guess not. What else does this person dealing with Virgo have to say? Something is still missing for me, and I'm true, and I'm still trying to figure out what it is. I mean, you see, you see, it was a third party up there. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. Like I said, this person felt insecure, but I feel like this person might have felt insecure just because they felt insecure. I feel like they felt insecure about themselves, and maybe Virgo is like very attractive or something like that and they felt like maybe that they could never live up to i guess maybe what the child's mother looked like or just previous people that virgo used to date or something like that why does this person feel like they can't meet up to virgo's expectation because i feel like that was the reason behind the control and you know i can't handle your words right now maybe we're just too different yeah, it's like, I feel like this person compared them to the people in Virgo's past. And I feel like they, I feel like it's impossible to just forgive and forget. And it's just like them feeling like they can't live up like they made their self feel insecure they, it's like i don't feel like for one reason that virgo did this they did maybe even because they they seen all the beautiful women in virgo's family how handsome or attractive that virgo is or you know how beautiful um virgo is and just uh i don't know what is it saying? Yeah, th this bridge will not be crossed. There's no reconciliation happening here. What is it saying? And there's there, there's no not going to be any more financial support. I feel like Virgo financially supported this person too. Yeah. 
that flame is like it's still I feel like that flame is still burning there like there's still an eternal flame burning there like they're like the flame is still burning though but like that financial support is being cut yet yeah, it's been too many rainstorms and the relationship is just boring and melancholy like it's just not worth it yeah but you know there's still a love and desire there but it's just like with this 11 11 in the in a, in a reverse it's just they were not on the right path it's like they love you but and it's like they'll probably always love you but they're not going to continue to financially support you and you're being abusive and manipulative and you're cheating and it's all of this fucking drama and the relationship is boring and you're getting in the path of this person's spiritual awakening. You know what I'm saying? It's, and, and I feel like this person tried to do manipulative things. Yeah. Like, I feel like this person tried to keep Virgo away from their family. They tried to keep Virgo away from being protected by other people. So they, that's what abusers do. You know what I'm saying? They try to ostracize the person from their family and friends, people that would be able to be like, no, this isn't right. This is, this isn't love. Like they wanted to control this situation so that Virgo didn't feel any level of protection so that they would not just get up and leave. Because it's like, if you feel like you don't have anybody else but me, where you want to go? I, you know, red. Passion, anger, courage, strength. I feel like Virgo is is seeing red now. Yeah, they're seeing red because they realize that this person held them back from being able to create what they really wanted to. And who they really are. Like this person held them back. Yes. And they're not allowing this person to have dominance over them no more. Come on, Virgo. Mm-hmm. There will be no reconciliation. I will not be financially supporting you no more. You will not be getting nothing out of me. You will not. Last spread and we up out of here, Virgo. Virgo is <laughs> enjoying their sanctuary. Like, no. Like, there's a lot of passion and anger um, in regards to this situation. And it's like, um, I feel like there's a certain level of resentment there. Because it's like, man... I could have I could have been further. I could have done a lot more with my life if this person wasn't down my back. Like this person try to micromanage Virgo and try to control Virgo. And like I want to say like Virgo could have went farther in their career, but this person kind of held Virgo back because they felt insecure and they didn't want Virgo to be too successful over them because that made them feel insecure. And it's like, now I'm able to control my life. I could do whatever the fuck I want to do. I could go and apply for whatever job or go for that manager position. Because why would you not want, to, want me to be at my best? Like, why are you intimidated? Because I'm a manager position. Like, what? You wouldn't want your man. You wouldn't want your woman to be successful and be a manager. Like, bitch, you got issues. Like, this person that you were with had issues. Yeah, I feel like you need to work a little bit harder towards your new beginning because the sun is like soon about to set. And there are some Virgos that are still dealing with this person because that flame is still burning there. And you're not. And look, you got to see like right behind you. This is what it's supposed to look like. You're supposed to be burning down that old shit. You understand what I'm saying? And calling in your new beginning. You see all of that force behind this? You know? It's like. I'm telling the, 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 the God, burn that shit down. I want something new. Burn that shit down. Get rid of it now. This is someone playing with it. Like, yeah, I kind of want a new beginning. Like, you're not putting enough effort into this shit. If you really want this shit and if you really want peace in your life and that tranquility and be able to create whatever it is that you want your life to be, true happiness, you need to put a little bit more effort in this because time is running out, baby. And I'm trying to tell you, you will not be getting any more support from your family, especially if you go back. Look, it's telling you right now, if you if you go across that bridge again, if you go back again because your love burns for an eternity and shit like that, knowing good and goddamn well you walking back into a rainstorm, don't call us. Because we all told you, don't take your ass back across that bridge again, right? I done told you, you go back there, it's going to get worse. It's going to get even more violent. 
this person is going to be the death of you. And you need to realize that. You need to love yourself. And if your family fought for you to have this a long time and be in this sanctuary and like get yourself together, appreciate this shit. Listen, appreciate that shit. And, I, and listen, people are not playing with you. And I honestly feel like if you do not put more of an effort on trying to make this new beginning happen for you, I can see that your family is going to come at you very, very verbally strong you're gonna get cussed out because it's like man you don't pull me into this bullshit what is this right here this the hierophant in reverse this is the hierophant in reverse i feel like you know they're like you know you tried to go your own way you tried to follow your own rules you tried to go work things out with this person and the whole time, you know, what did it teach you? What did you get out of this? You know what I'm saying? What did you get out of this? Because the last, you know, it's just. Mm. All right. So this is it, y'all. This is what your family is saying to you. This is what your family is saying to you. Okay. You need to work harder. Cause the sun is setting. You understand what I'm saying? Like, time's a wasting, and you getting older. We don't have time for this shit. You understand what I'm saying? And they're like, I don't got time to keep running out in the street fighting for you. Fighting for your new beginnings because you won't fight for yourself. I'm tired of fighting for you. You have to rush forward to your truth. You have to know who you are. You have to be aggressive about it. You have to do it. Not me. You're not a fucking baby. You're not a baby. You're not a child. But yet, at the same time, you want to go off and do whatever it is the fuck that you want to do. Because you feel like, oh, these people know more than us. And then they can teach you better. But what did you learn? Really, what did you learn? Whole time, the person that you was over there thinking that you was learning so much for. And that you was learning so much with. They had you in a third party situation where they had other people in the mix. You understand what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you the one that got left alone. You the one coming, courting, holding gifts and doing all this shit. This person is, is their main focus is someone else. And you sitting in the background coming, bearing gifts in hand, looking stupid. And they over there working on shit with someone else. Do you see what I'm saying? You see how this person is coming bearing gifts? You see how it said if they're no more support? I feel like Virgo was like a paymaster or something like that. If this person used Virgo financially and controlled them. And controlled them. I feel like this is a truth that Virgo really didn't want to see. But at the same time, it's just like... Why should we have to go... I feel like these people told you about this girl from the beginning and they told or this boy, they told you that this girl or that you are better off on your own from the beginning. I feel like they told you not even to get involved with this person because you were more successful and abundant on your own to begin with. And that this person and look behind your back. You see these messages, how they're sending birds, they're communicating back and forth with each other, but they're trying to call this woman out of her sanctuary, her sanctuary, her abundance, her happiness, trying to call her out of her glow, out of her sanctuary, out of her peace to come down a dark road and come in a tower situation. And we done seen these goddamn towers over here, like someone trying to avoid an ending and stuff like that. Something that y'all see coming, but you're trying to just patch it up so that it don't have to end. No. 
Don't ever leave your peace to walk in destruction. Don't leave your peace to walk into destruction because if you do, we're not helping you. And have no thoughts about it in your mind. Please do not be confused. You go back to this person and you and this motherfucker start whooping up on your ass again. I don't want to hear it. And I ain't trying to be seeing you in no motherfucking casket. Like this, I feel like this is someone that like in a real abusive situation. And don't think that a female, some females are fucking crazy. Some men are fucking crazy and will beat the living shit out of you while they're cheating on you and having you in a goddamn uh, non-committal, uh, untraditional relationship. Having other people all in your shit, but all at the same time trying to go upside your head, running up on you, whooping down on you, you know? Trying to intimidate you, like trying to intimidate you to, to, to not leave. You know what I'm saying? The situation is already dying. Mm-mm. Same shit, different toilet. Y'all stay safe in y'all sanctuary. Your family fought for you to have this freedom. All right? I love y'all. Y'all keep your mind on the prize. Keep your mind on the prize. And y'all see, y'all got twin flame energy here. Y'all got twin flame energy. True love. True love. Y'all know I don't really like that term twin flame, but y'all get what I'm saying. Y'all got the real shit right here. Coming your way. Don't you dare go back to that bullshit and get abused and get mistreated. Because if you go there, you're going to be left there alone. Do not call your family because they're telling you do not call them. Make wise decisions, Virgo. I love you. Peace.